Hi, this is Andrea Earle with an updated tutorial on syncing Canvas to Aries. The first step is to create your gradebooks in Aries. You can do Mass, Add Gradebooks, select the periods you want to add. You will notice that this teacher has two sections in her Period 1 class. Each section needs its own gradebook. She doesn't teach period two, but she has two sections of period three. She teaches period six and period eight. Once you've selected your grade books, go to next. This is the spring semester and, and select create grade books. You will now have a list of all your individual grade books. Notice she has one gradebook for each section. If I go to Manage Gradebooks, you can get a better look at this. So when I slide down, I have Spring already selected, and I have one of the Period 1 sections. You need to double check these section numbers here. This is what will match the section numbers in Canvas. If they don't match, your grades will not sync correctly. Some people have an F or an S here. Make sure you pick the S for spring class if that's your situation. In this case, these are year-long classes. Now you need to add your categories. Now the quick way to add categories is to link all your grade books together. So I'm gonna go ahead and link her math Oh, I don't need to link the fall grade books. I'm just going to link her four math section. Uh, yeah, four math sections. And notice we've got three three. In the fall, she changed the name to three A and three B. So I'll do that in a few moments. But now that I've linked them, I'm going to save them. Now I'm going to add the categories. And remember, categories must be identical to those that you set up in Canvas. So the first category is gonna be assignments with an S and a capital, and it's gonna be worth 50% of the student's grade. The new category is assessments, and that is also gonna be worth 50% of the student's grade. If you'd like to select the colors, feel free to do that, but they have no effect on your Canvas. When we hit save, the categories have now gone to all four of those sections, but you need to unlink them before you sync. So I go back to link, and now I'm going to unlink them by changing them all to zeros. I'm also going to go back in and edit the names of each assign of each gradebook. So manage gradebook. And I'm going to change this first one. So this one, I'm just going to change it to 1A. It really doesn't matter which is which, but I will go into Canvas later and make sure they match. So when I look, I have section 1242 will be 1A and save. Now I'm going to go to the next grade book and I can just do it from the drop down. And I'm going to call this one 1B and so forth. Now the kids will see those, but they have no meaning for them. It's more for you as the teacher so that you can match these section numbers to the section numbers in Canvas. To review, step one, start by creating your Aries gradebooks. Remember, you need an individual gradebook for each rostered section in Aries. Set up your weights and categories in Aries and make sure they match Canvas exactly. Then go ahead and add your students to the Aries gradebooks. Remember, do not link your Aries gradebooks to each other like you've done in the past. For a shortcut, you could link the gradebooks, set up your categories and weights, but then be sure to unlink them before you start syncing. And once your Aries gradebooks are set up, you won't need to do anything else but sync your grades. 
all changes to assignments, all updated grades will all happen inside of Canvas. Now it's time to set up your categories in Canvas. In Canvas, categories are called assignment groups. Go to the Assignments tab, and you'll have a list of the groups that have already been created if this is a year-long course. If it's a year-long course, you can toggle between the two semesters up at the top. If you're happy with your assignment groups and you're happy with the waiting, there's nothing else you need to do. However, if you want to add or change assignment groups, you're going to need to create new ones. Start by creating the name of the group. Type it in the same exact way you have it in Aries. So this was assignments with a capital. Helps to spell it right. And it's worth 50%. And now I'm going to create the second group, which was assessments, also worth 50%. In a single semester course, obviously make sure your percents equal 100% when they add up. But in a year long course, your percents are going to equal 200%. You can check it here. Assignment group weights. Make sure you check weight final grade based on assignment groups if that is what you do. And you're going to see all of the weights. And here are the last two for this semester. With a total of 200%. But don't worry because we're not going to be using any of the groups from the previous semester. Now all I have to do is move my assignments into these groups. So I'm going to go back up. I'm going to show my spring assignments. It's a little weird, but your new categories will not show in the filtered view until there is an assignment in that category. So for example, the assessment category is not showing. But here's an assessment I want to move into it. So I simply go to the assessment. I can edit it and change the category from assignments to assessments. I save it, and then once I go back to the Assignments tab, now the group shows. To review, in Canvas, set up your assignment groups and weights in the Assignments tab. They must match Aries exactly. Group weights, called Category Weights in Aries, must equal 100%. However, if you have year-long classes, you will need to set up new categories and weights only if you're changing them and then your total will be 200%. If you're continuing on with the same categories and weights from spring, you're fine. Don't do it. You don't need to do anything else. You'll notice that this teacher has quite a few assignments that she didn't use for a semester. Any of those unpublished assignments with no due dates can easily be moved into the new assignment groups by grabbing the handle. However, as long as there are any unpublished and undated assignments in this group, it will still show when you switch to just spring semester. Sometimes when you're importing content from somebody else, you're going to get an extra category at the bottom called imported assignments. It's automatically created, so you need to make sure that you move the lessons out of it into the appropriate category before you sync. With regards to missing work, there's a few things to consider. First, do you want students to see the zero in Canvas to show that the work is missing? If you do put a zero in Canvas, then that will calculate into the student's grade. If you leave the cell blank, it will not calculate into the student's grade. When you transfer zeros to Aries, it will again calculate into the student's grade. However, when you select the uh, grading complete button, the cells will not show up as red. If you'd like the cells to show up as red, leave, a, leave the grade blank in Canvas, mark grading is complete in Aries, and hide the final grades in Canvas. How to sync. Remember, you're going to select the assignments you want to sync, and you can do that while you're editing the assignment or from the assignments menu. You can go to, then go to grades, 
actions sync to Aries. You can choose which assignments to sync. You can also select which sections you want to sync. Once you hit the sync button, you will then need to be patient. Sometimes it can take up to an hour for the grades to populate in Aries. You also want to have the Aries gradebook closed while you're syncing, just to avoid any possible problems. Because basically what's happening is Aries is looking for any changes in Canvas and just adding those changes into the Aries gradebook. Here are a couple things to remember. First of all, assignment names must be 50 characters or less. Assignments must have due dates in order to sync. Don't run the sync until at least one student has a grade for any particular assignment. In other words, don't sync future assignments that are blank. Uh, Cross-listing does not affect grade sync. And be careful if you have a manually created course. Often manually created courses have an extra section with only one person in it, usually the teacher. You will need to delete that section for syncing to be successful. A couple common issues we've seen. Uh, first semester grades and assignments are showing up in second semester, even when you filter by semesters in the, grade, in the assignments tab. One possible reason is that there were no due dates for those assignments or you've placed them in the wrong assignment group. We've also noticed that assignments transfer into ARI with ARIES without grades. Sometimes you just need to wait and check back later. A few recommendations. First, number your assignments based on your modules. For example, if you're on week 19, you could do 19.1, 19.2, or if you like letters, 19A, 19B. Numbering your assignments will help you locate them if a student turns in work late, if you're wondering which assignments to sync, and it will also help keep students organized when they're looking for work that they need to complete. Also, keep the number of assignment groups to a minimum. Sync a few assignments at a time. If you have a year-long course, you're going to see the assignments from first semester. Just ignore them. They won't affect the sync process. And finally, try this out. Get your sync going sooner rather than later. So if there are any issues, we can rectify them immediately. And remember, if you need help, you can always reach out to canvas.support at sausclearns.net.